Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for November 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, Monday through Thursday. Now, if you're new here, um, or if you just like to cross-watch, and you don't want to listen to the introduction, and this will be tagged on to all the videos in the front, go right down there, and there should be a timestamp. And what that'll do is that'll bypass the introduction for you. Anyway, I am going to be reading from Monday through Thursday. I will be using my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I will use my Guardian Tar Angel Tarot cards. I will also pull one from my Inspirational Wisdom from Angels and Fairies. And, of course, my pull one from my Emily Anderson crystal deck. Now for the introduction, we are going to do kind of a universal what's going on in the world reading with my Wade Rider tarot, and I will pull one from my Colette Baron Reed tarot. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this: these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? So we have some, the interesting energies for me are on the 15th. So we're kind of in a little bit of a, a stasis, I would say. Now, okay, let's jump ahead. Anyway, the 24th of November, Jupiter will be going direct in Pisces. So you have to, when, when, it's, when things are slowing down to go direct, they almost come to a stop. I would say that right now Jupiter is, if not at, not at that stop, then at a really strong you know, really, you know, really um, slow crawl. Let's put it that way. So things are changing with Jupiter. Jupiter, you know, the, one of the planets, then except for Mars, everything else will be going direct. So, you know, Jupiter's kind of like holding there. Pisces is dream, spirituality, water energy. Jupiter is the god of, or the planet of good fortune, of wishes, of, you know, of big, largest type of energy. So it's kind of slow. It's looking down right now. So the other thing is with the, um, with the dates. The 15th of November, we have Venus, 28 degrees in Scorpio, trining Jupiter, 28 degrees in Pisces. And that's a really positive energy. Trining is very positive. They're Both of them are supporting each other. They're both kind of like, you know, um, basically saying to you know, Venus is saying to Jupiter, hey, let's get together, let's make this work. But again, too, we have those two water signs, again, spiritual energy. Scorpio does not like secrets, but yet Pisces will go into the depths to, you know, to discover the secrets. On the 15th, we also have the sun in Scorpio, trining Neptune again in Pisces, and that's at 22 degrees. Um, so in, you know, in, in itself, the 15th, it feels very good energy it feels very interesting but yet at the same time it it does make me you know it's like one of those times that you go things that make you go hmm hmm what is happening with these energies here the 16th we have mercury and scorpio again trining jupiter we have venus entering on the 16th sagittarius and on the 17th we have mercury entering sagittarius so now we have some of that fire energy coming about some of that action energy so not quite sure where i'm at with this when people would ask you know because we just we had the you know the whole uranus and taurus full moon eclipse um you know they'd ask me when did when did i think that some of that energy would change and i would say and i would say you know like basically anywhere from like the 11th to the 15th uh the 15th but again the 15th just has a different energy to it i really can't tell you what I'm feeling with it. So let's go ahead and pull some cards or have the cards jump out. And not quite sure. Oh, there's there's that card right there. This one is this one is reversed. So let's see what we've got here. Okay. Well, we have things that are upside down usually have a little stronger energy. Court cards have our dual energy. So pages underlying energy will be um, earth and that is our pentacle energy, that is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy, money, job, career. Knights, which this is, the underlying energy is our fire energy, and that would be our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, passionate, burning, and determined. Now, queens, 
have our water energy or our cup energy. And that is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, fluid, emotional, and very spiritual energy. And then we have our kings, whose underlying energy is swords or air, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Thought processes, make, you know, thinking things through, also making some plans, also hearing news. So what do we have going on for the week of, you know, of the 14th through the 17th, we get, we come and we start out with the Knight of Pentacles. So underlying energy, again, that fire, that passion, that action energy, wanting to make movement, wanting to have, you know, get things done, wanting things to actually move, okay? Knights are directional, so they go where they're directed. They go, you know, they'll go when they get started, okay? So this one wants to go here. I find this interesting that it's not directly to the side. It's actually a little bit off, you know, off to the side. So it is an interesting energy with that. It's kind of like the horse is not necessarily going the way that we really think it's going to go. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. So that underlying is fire. Pentacles, that earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So the Knight of Pentacles stands still for a moment. The Knight of Pentacles wants to make some movement, wants things to change, wants to have some action. However, the Knight of Pentacles is very deliberate in his movement. He wants to make sure that what he's doing is basically the best calculated risk that he can do. Once he's made that, made that decision, once he's plotted out whatever he needs to plot out, he then gets to work. And he, when he gets to work, things happen a lot faster than you would think. So something with that going on. Now we have that four. Remember, numbers have some energy, have a lot of energy too. Um, we're using them for a very um, positive vibration. We're using our numbers to raise our vibrations. So we have the Four of Cups, that water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have that Four, a stability, leadership, organization. The Four of Cups is that card that's just in that old in-between stage. I, you know, it's kind of like if you look, he's kind of, you know, he's sitting there with his arm crossed, not necessarily embracing his his present and yet not necessarily embracing his future. I call this, again, that in-between time. Sometimes this is the waiting time. Sometimes this is just that frustrating, why isn't stuff happening? Why isn't that knight running into battle? Why isn't that knight moving? Okay, so we have to be a little bit more deliberate. We have to make our plans. Why, why, why? It's very frustrating energy. You see, he's looking at his three of cups, not necessarily happy with them, not, not wanting to knock them down either. There's a divine cup coming and saying, hey, look at me, look at me. We've got some opportunities here. Just kind of like not really, um, not really ready to make a move, not ready to make a move. So let's see what this mystery one on the floor was. Temperance. So we have a 14 energy. Again, we have that one energy, which is a new beginning, new start. And then we have that four that I just talked about. Add the four, one and four together becomes five, and it's all about change. So temperance is all about balance, is all about waiting, all about compromise, all about not making that move, not making that move, not rushing into anything right now. It's just waiting, 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 waiting. Um, it's have patience. Um, things are, you know, things are happening, but just have patience. So it's an interesting energy. Have patience. Things are happening. Uh, once we get this, once we really figure it all out, this night does get to work and does make some big changes. So it's kind of a frustrating energy for this week. We will see what we will see. Okay, let's see what we have with the Colette Baron Reed energy here. Ha Higher power. Remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to higher power, Holy Spirit, God, Source, and ask just, just give the people, give what they need, what they need. So let's see what we've got here. Also, too, remember down there, down there is the like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. Really, um, you know, it, it's important to keep to support the channel, to support me by doing that. I really do appreciate you doing that. Um, it keeps, it does keep me going. I mean, if I, if, if things, if people aren't watching, then it's kind of like, do I continue? So please like, share, subscribe. Many people have told me 
that they have, um, many people have told me that they have had to resubscribe in order to get um, the video. So for what, some reason, maybe I'm too positive of a message, um, it doesn't always come out. So anyway, so now we have the four of fire. So we have that four energy again. We have that fire energy. Can um, I'm sorry, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And remember, Sagittarius energy is starting to really pick up right now. That fire energy, that adventurous energy, that directional energy, that action energy is starting to move. The four of fire, the four of rods, is traditionally a celebratory energy. Is you know, it's kind of like a um, a graduation, a wedding. It's like the culmination. It's a culminative type accumulative type of energy and it's a you know you've gotten to this point you're now ready for your next chapter so the four of fire actually is a loving lovely energy to have it is an energy you really want to have so it's kind i don't know is it kind of like after all the waiting things come to you know things come to a culmination things you know things now move 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 it could be but this also is one of the celebratory cards so interesting with that okay again remember to like share subscribe click on the bell interesting stuff um you know just interesting stuff going on as always okay why don't we start our videos now hello my virgos and how are you doing okay interesting week with the energies again if you've been watching cross watch you'll hear me say that all around not quite sure where we're going except that there does feel like there's some shift energy. Um, I do feel that this is a time for you to maybe work on keeping some balance, working on your balance. You know, is that between work and life and just general? I don't know. I just feel like a ba like balance is needed or balance would be appreciated for my Virgo. So let's see. Let's ask, let's ask higher power, God, source, Holy Spirit, what do my Virgos need to know for this week. What do they need to know for this week? Let's see what we've got here. Okay, reversed, not reversed, not reversed. Here we go, move that. Let's see, for my Virgos. First card is the Three of Ariel. Well, the first thing that I get from the Three of Ariel is, well, well is basically the message is, Virgos, do what you love. What is it that you love? Do you even know what it is that you love? I just get this, time to maybe rediscover that piece of you but again it's do what you love okay so three three has uh creativity has um celebration it also is the power of three ariel is your energy also capricorn and taurus very earth energy money job career there's a lot of cre but again okay yes it says do what you love so maybe i'm just reading my cards too much but again it's it's about what is it again that balance maybe life has gotten out of balance and now it's time for you to to um regain that balance by finding what it is that you love by doing what it is that you love instead of maybe i mean my my virgos when i think of my virgos i'm always seeing their flow charts i'm always seeing the post-it notes and so i do think that you plan things out quite a bit are, you know, are you spontaneous? Are you doing something just for the heck of it? Just because it's something that you want to do. So this does have work energy to it. This does say maybe you can work and get, and get to where you want to be by also doing something that you love to do. You know, what do they say? If you ever, if you're ever, if you ever get a job doing something you love, it will never be called work. So this is what I'm talking about. So do you do what you love? a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. I love that one. But also, too, there is a lot of the Three of Pentacles in itself does say that there is provision. When I see the Three of Pentacles in the traditional, I see provision. I see things being provided. So let's see what we've got here. Next card is the Ten of Michael. So we have that 10 energy. So we have a 3, 1, 0, 10, 1, 0. Transitional energy is a 10. 1, new beginning, 0 is God's source energy. Michael is our sword energy, our air energy, our Aquarius 
um, Gemini and Libra energy. And, you know, Aquarius has Saturn in it and Gemini has Mars retro in it. But thought processes, thinking things through. This is a lot. This is the achievement of your goals. This is the achievement of your plans. You are, you know, when I'm talking about that uh, float chart or I'm talking about those post-it notes, you have gotten to where you want to be. And now it's time for you to make your next step, your next move, okay? You know, I love her. She's danced her little toes off. And now it's time for her to take a bow and to go on to her next challenge, to go on to her new adventure, her thought processes also. So it's like, do what you love. It again, there's this thing, there's this thing about have trying to find and having a balance between what you love to do and just what you know to do, even too. So a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Time to move on. There's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of all the, you know, there are, everybody's had little different messages, but there's shifts. It's like things are shifting. Okay, next card. Four of Gabriel. Now, so we have a three, one, zero, four, four, zero, one, three. Now, four is stability, organization, leadership. Gabriel is fire energy, rod energy. Um, we had that in the introduction, okay? It's the culmination of your work. It's the culmination of your efforts. You are now, and so that goes along with what this is all about too. You have, you have completed your mission. You have completed your step. You have completed a goal, and it's now time for you to take that next step. Okay, but at the same time, you can celebrate your accomplishments right now. You can take, maybe instead of taking that next step, maybe take a moment and celebrate what you have accomplished. Okay, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdensome situations, and that is one thing with our waning moon. We are in the waning moon as it gets smaller and smaller. That's where you release yourself. So, again, some changes, some changes. Um, but it's also celebrate who and what, who you are and what you've done, my Virgos. Have you know? Really, really take a time and just say, "Darn, I really did a good job with this. I really did a good job." It doesn't mean you know. I'm not saying you know, maybe you're feeling like, "Oh, I'm feeling discouraged." No, look at what you really, really did, and celebrate. Okay. Moving on, moving on. Do what you love. It's now time for you to really, are you doing what you love? I mean, there's so much going on for you, my, my Virgos. It's just, it's just an interesting week. Okay, let's see. Guardian Angels, what do you want to say to my Virgos? What, am, what do you want to say to my Virgos? Here we are. Here we go. Go, go, go. Five of thought. Now there's a sneaky snake in five of air, okay? So five has some change energy. Thought has some air energy to it. But remember too, the five of swords, that's where I say watch out because there's always a sneaky snake there, okay? So, and it does talk about changes though here. The path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. Wow. Changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. I love that. There is a better direction for you. I love that. That is the five of swords. Again, watch the sneaky snakes. Watch the ones that tell you that things that you can't do what you can do. For you, my Virgos, all things are possible. So let's see what we've got here. What um, What is this? Inspirational words from angels and fairies. What do you have for my Virgos? So there's a better path for you, a better direction that's happening. So here we go. Here we go. Okay. Now remember, too, this is where I give my disclaimer. It's always easier, if this is a job thing, it's always easier to get a job when you have a job. Okay, so changes, changes. 
reversed twilight magic and there's the unicorn you may feel that you cannot move forward in life but you are blessed so move on with love you are blessed move on with love okay let's see what else we might have okay sure air breathe breathe sword energy is air energy thought energy air communication imagination independent witty breathe interesting shift for you too interesting changes happening okay so my virgos let me know let me know what this meant as also to go down there to like share subscribe click on the bell for notifications you really help me when you do that. You encourage me to stay on air. Really, that's what it comes down to. So thank you. As always, though, my Virgos, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.